the face Tell me that you love me Even if it's fake Welcome back to another Minecraft video, and uh, yeah, this is another of my redstone ones because apparently you guys like the redstone video a lot. So I thought I'd do another one for this video. It's five ways to make a redstone entrance in Minecraft. Um, so what we're gonna be doing is making redstone entrances to your house. Okay, so um, bill number one is this. It's a piston door. Really, it's a big. This is very too complicated but it's a piston door where you press the button and then that opens and you can run through and then this and then this can be the entrance to your house and it's basically the same thing again on the other side and you can run through so to, to see the redstone I built it the exact same thing again so really all it is is the button on the other side there's a redstone torch with a re repeater on four ticks going in, into the piston and you have redstone down here going through here all the way across onto the other side where it powers the other piston and also what you end and so that's how you open it from one side but then from the other side you find you put down your button and you have redstone on the other side that runs along here from there right along this stone and then you put a repeater into this block which will then unpower that redstone torch making these two all of these retract and open up so you press the button and then you run over to here which holds the door and then that so this magma block will pull this elevator down and this is your little base and then what you can do press your play and redstone pushing up to that piston your redstone so when you run over the press repeater you can hold it up hold space and you should pop out just make sure you're looking the right way because then you'll get stuck like I did and to build it it's really simple so it's really one line with a button over here and then some redstone to receive the pulse and then you put it through a repeater which, will, which will then will that repeater will turn off this redstone torch turning off the piston making that retract showing the water elevator where you can pull in as more than that will pull you in as shown and then on over here it's really simple it's just a pressure plate and with then redstone leading all the way up on really all the way up onto this oh god this redstone torch right here which powers that piston so it's the same concept as before and that's really um build number two it's a very hidden door in in the ground so, so then you can have your base underneath the ground and no one's gonna know so build number three this isn't really the build this is um but this is a part of it where you can connect to any build number one or build number two to help you instead of the button you can put this and this is a card reader so so then you 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 can do that you don't have to read the redstone but if you want you can come on guys please so yeah go subscribe if you're new to the channel and uh yeah like the video if you like this video and comment down below what you want me to do next so this is number three uh so this is build number three and this is um a really like this is more of a um like sorting system here so that then if you if the key if you put the key card right it should send it an output and they should power this lamp right here so so then if you, so then if this is your key card yeah if you put the key card in and then you press the button if it's right it, it, will, it will turn on the lamp for a second and there should be a barrel down here and then that's where your key card should go so make sure you take your key card yeah so then if that lamp turns on then so then instead of cooking them to like you take this put a repeater right there and you could hook, hook it up to either w build one or two to make your door and make sure you put this repeater here or else because you only get a one tick pulse meaning it will only go up to here but so then when you so that you need that repeater to make the full pulse to make it go in and that's really it really the build is really simple so, is, so there's a hopper going into this comparator which then sends up pulse if it's over 22 with 18 in the first slot and 4 in the next it will send up pulse it will take send a one tick pulse in, in so then once you once that redstone gets powered I'll push it onto this repeater which will then deactivate this torch meaning that which will now not power this um, hopper which will then put the key, to the, trans the um, key card back into the barrel and you need to and you need to make sure that you take the key card out or else if you leave it in there and someone else finds this once you put it take out the key card you should cover it back up or, or else someone can find it and put it back in and then get access to your house so moving on to build number four it's really this build where uh, i'll show you it inside here first 
Uh, no, this was the. This is a very nicely built house, and if you open, you can see the rest of the map there. But if you open up this chest, oh god, you fall through. So this can be used as an entrance to your base, where um, you, you open up a chest and a trap chest, and then that will open up these pistons to open, so which then can make you fall through and into your base. You click this button, it'll open that back up, and then you can just try again. If you push that button, you can, you can fly out and creative. So to see the actual redstone, we can move on over to here. Oh god. I mean, it's a little messy, but it's it's kind of fun. So then you have the trap chest with repeaters out here to pull, and then you want to take this redstone line and pull it all the way up into here, which it then puts into the repeater, which will then turn off the redstone torch, retracting these pistons, making you fall through. And you want to do the same thing on the other side, so then both of these pistons retract. And that's really it. You just need to make these pistons retract that way. And for the button, you put redstone up here, and then you link it up back into these um, repeaters, we'll make, making those retract again. And that's really it. And then you can really put everything underground using slabs, and you're fine. And then you can fall into your nicely built base back here, and then when you want to get out, you can just click that button and somehow get yourself out. Or like you can have stairs, and right at the top, you hit a button and you walk out on the stairs. Yeah. Okay, so for this you need uh, either a trident or a bow, and if you say you need either a trident or a bow, and you, you need some type of projectile, or if you throw it in just the right spot, which is that, yeah, if you throw it, that lamp lights up, and then that opens up. You might need to play with the timings a little, to make yourself go in, and then once you fall in, this, this can be like your little base back here, and really to get out, same thing, you, can, you just have to hit the button and then fly out, or you can have some way to make yourself get out, and you can do the same thing with the bow. So then the only problem is, you see how that arrow is still there, that means this red lamp is still going to be on, which is um, an, an annoyance, because then it, these arrows won't despawn once you get out of the range, and that will, n but then with a trident, what happens is, you want to have loyalty on it, so it comes back to you, but what happens is you just flick it through, and then after like a second, after like a couple ticks, it'll fly back to you, and it'll stay there, so that's the way it will automatically close itself, and the redstone is really simple. All it is is a little glitch where these entities can f uh, go through blocks a little bit, hitting the very edge of that pressure plate, which will then power the pressure plate, which will then power the pressure plate, and that pressure plate just leads down to a bunch of redstone. All reads the redstone all the way to head to this repeater, which then unpowers the torch, like, that's basically a thing with all of them. It powers this piston that keeps a block there, and, uh, yeah, you, can, you just need to have that redstone line come all the way down, and this redstone line is for the this redstone line is for the button where when you press the button, what happens is it powers this line which then pulls puts it into this repeater to turn off that torch and open it up again. Like so. You press that and you fly out. Oops, um what space back in and then what you can do is that so then no one can see your redstones. Do that so then no one can see all no I see is the button. And yeah, that's really the five redstone doors in Minecraft. If you like this video, please hit that like button down below. And if you're at all new to the channel, please subscribe. We are so close to 30 subscribers, and that would mean the world to me if I, kn if I know that we have 30 people who actually like my videos. And um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Good. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's